The earthquake in the Gulf of California sent seismic waves in all directions through the Earth. This highly simplified model will depict seismograms from three stations that record direct wave arrivals and one shadow zone station between 104 and 140 degrees from the epicenter that records PP and SS waves. After the earthquake, the initial red line shows direct P wave ray paths. The compressive P wave is recorded by each station with a vertical bump. The blue shearing S wave, following the same ray path, creates a side to side motion. The P and S waves bounce off station 2 and travel as PP and SS waves through the mantle to station 4. The orange, slow lumbering surface waves continue a slower path along the surface of the Earth, also in all directions away from the epicenter of the earthquake. Here we show seismograms at increasing distance from the epicenter with a travel time graph superimposed. So, what caused this earthquake? The Gulf of California marks a major boundary between the North American and Pacific plates. It's a transitional corridor that connects the East Pacific rise south of the Gulf with the San Andreas Fault of California to the north. Extension and strike-slip faulting are causing Baja California to separate away from mainland Mexico, thereby opening the Gulf of California. It is made up of right lateral strike-slip motion with stair-stepping spreading ridges connected by classic transform faults. If we zoom in, we can see the process is occurring. As the plates move apart, heat rises beneath the mid-ocean ridge. Magma forms at shallow pressure and creates new rock at the spreading ridges. The plates move away in conveyor belt-like fashion. Movement between the ridges is accommodated by transform faults where large earthquakes can occur. In this map view, we see the San Andreas Fault System from the Gulf south of the earthquake and the movement that's forcing Baja California away from Mexico.